The sewing advisor is truly your own personal sewing assistant right at your fingertips. Now these symbols down at the lower part of your screen are symbols of fabric. So the first row from A to H are different fabrics. The first three all look like woven fabrics. And the bottom row is actually techniques. Now, so you get a better understanding of what they are, touch the sewing machine. The sewing machine actually gives you an identification of what those symbols actually uh, mean. So until you have them memorized and you know which one you're looking for, use the sewing machine and the more spelled out screen. So for example, if you were working on a silk fabric, we would select a woven light. And by selecting a seam, we will find that our stitch is made shorter. Now, if you were working on denim and doing a seam, so woven heavy, you actually need to make the stitch length longer. So by letting the sewing advisor be your assistant, tell the machine what fabric you're working on and what technique you're doing, it's gonna pick the stitch set the settings accordingly to that stitch, adjust the tension as needed, but it goes one step further. It actually also adjusts the pressure of the foot. Now that is more crucial when you get into the stretchier fabrics. Have you ever sewn on a stretchy fabric and found that it actually kind of comes out a little wavy? Well, the fabric was pushed down by the foot with too much pressure. So by setting it for a lighter setting, it will make it so it almost glides across the fabric so it doesn't stretch it out. Now, so you don't have to do those adjustments. For example, if you were sewing on fleece, let's pick stretch heavy. And if we were doing a seam, it's going to number one, pick a stitch that is a stretch stitch, a stitch that won't pop if you pull on that, but also that pressure of the foot will be reduced to the proper setting. Now look what else is up here. It also changed my needle to a 90, so a bigger needle since I'm on a heavier fabric, stretch. And so that is the proper point for a stretchy fabric. So keep in mind that these will definitely be to, your, to be very suitable for your fabrics and uh, your different techniques. Now let's go back to like a woven medium and let's try the next one, overcast. So it's going to recommend a overlock foot and this stitch for this type of fabric. As I pick different fabrics, this stitch and sometimes the foot will change. So as we pick for different uh, fabric thicknesses and different stretchiness that you can kind of see that stitch is getting longer or wider depending on which one I have. So let's go back to woven medium and a seam and an overcast. This will be a stitch where it will overcast the edge plus make a seam. And this is great if you don't have a serger or if you're just doing a short distance and don't need to rethread your serger. For example, if it's got black thread on, you don't wanna to have to take the time. Just pick the stitch, tell it what fabric you're working on and it will make sure that the right stitch the right pressure, the right foot, and remind you what needle you need to have on the machine. Uh, you have a technique of a basting stitch, so it's a really long stitch, but also look, the tension is reduced, so a basting stitch is meant to be pulled out. So as you stitch, you can go ahead and stitch with confidence that one of those threads is gonna be really easy to pull. Just don't do a back stitch, it'll be really easy to remove. The la next one is a blind hem. And once again, depending on your fabric, notice the extra zigs in here, that's because we're on a stretch fabric, but like a regular weight for a pair of pants, it's gonna set you up with a nice, perfect blind hem. Now, as that fabric gets thicker, the stitch width actually takes a bigger bite. So once again, you don't have to make adjustments as long as you tell the machine what fabric and technique you're doing and the rest is gonna be done for you. A hem, so this is a great way, well a hem on a woven fabric straight stitch, but some of these other stitches will be more suited for the correct fabric. Buttonholes, you know there's a ton of buttonholes in this machine and depending on what fabric you choose, for example I picked, we're on stretch medium, so stretchy fabric, there is actually a little extra picture showing here because it is recommended that we cord this buttonhole. That will give it stability. If I was to pick just a regular weight of fabric, it's gonna recommend the foot, no extra corded buttonhole needed, and it'll be ready to stitch. So different uh, buttonholes for different fabrics. No guessing on your part. The last one is actually sewing on a button. So we'll just make sure that you have the right setting for the fabric. And because I have a lightweight fabric, I have a smaller needle that's recommended. 
Now, two other fabrics that we have down here. Let me just go back to a regular seam. And the next one is leather. And so it recommends the non-stick foot. That's that white foot H that's in your machine uh, accessory box. And it also will make your stitch like longer because we don't want really close together stitches on leather because then it perforates it and actually makes it um, not, uh, well, it just will separate the leather. And then also for vinyl. So once again, that same foot is recommended for that seam. And so you can tell the machine every different fabric and every different technique. Now, once I pick vinyl and seam, we'll just leave it there and, and touch okay. Now, if I turn the machine off and on, okay, we'll pretend that it's off. Um, when it comes back, it's still gonna be selected with the vinyl setting. So make sure that tomorrow when you come back to sew, that you truly do pick your new fabric um, it will not have a technique selected, but the fabric will be remembered even after you turn the machine off. So I always like to make sure I get back to like a medium. B is that good, I don't know what I'm gonna be sewing on, but that's a great place to leave it when you're unsure of your next fabric. So enjoy your sewing advisor. Uh, there is a sewing advisor in the embroidery mode and it has some great features because it's gonna tell you like what stabilizers to use. So I know this was a little long, but you definitely wanna use this to your benefit. It is wonderful.